Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial and these tutorials are for perfect beginner. This is our part 8 of this video session series in which we will discuss about REST API using basic auth plugin and HTTP API. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our various types of customization in WordPress from scratch. If you have started, this is your first video guys, then I strongly suggest you that in our previous video sessions, we have completed the first phase of this video session series. In the first phase, what we have discussed about JSON API plugin, okay, where we have used JSON API plugin and we have actually made a simple application by using REST APIs. Okay, so if you go to just click on settings, JSON API, so these are the routes that actually JSON API provides. By the help of these routes, actually we have connected our application that is simple HTML application. We have connected this application with these APIs and we have created our post, updated, deleted as well as listed our post to this application. Okay, so in the second phase guys, we are going to means start using REST API using basic auth plugin setting. Okay, where actually we will pass username and password to complete our request okay so previous video sessions if you are going to our youtube channel so this is the playlist actually provides all you have the concept of a first phase okay so let's get started about the second phase of this video session series but before starting this second phase guys actually i would like to tell you that the basic authentication method is not recommended in wordpress because you send login and password in every api call okay but I think it is better know how to actually work with that okay so to work with the basic authentication method to complete our request we need to download this plugin okay so just I'm going to copy this plugin I will drop this URL actually in my description of this video okay so just copy this URL go to browser just paste the URL right here and click on enter so basically what actually we will get or we get actually a basic authentication plugin we need to install this plugin to our wordpress setup to make any of the http request api call okay so just i'm going to either either just don't click on that either you need to download the zip folder of this plugin or you if you are a linux user ubuntu user then you can make a clone of that okay so simply i will download this zip folder from this website okay so this is the plugin actually i have downloaded as you can see after downloading this plugin just go to your wordpress setup so this is the wordpress setup that actually we are going to learn every video sessions from this wordpress setup rest api okay so just i'm going to within wp content folder within plugins folder okay and this is the plugin that i have downloaded from that website so first of all we have to make unzip of that okay so this is the folder actually we got after unzipping that okay so just going go to front end section of administrator panel click on plugins we can see the unzip plugin folder structure right here and it is here okay json basic authentication so just click on activate so successfully we have activated this plugin okay so now we are able to use the basic authentication to make our uh, http request api call so by the help of this basic auth authentication plugin api actually we are going to use our CRUD operations with this plugin okay so basically to do that we need to install a postman application software into our application okay also we will say in this whole video session series that how can we connect our application without using postman okay by the help of simple as PHP files actually we will connect our application to the rest API authentication plugin okay so now in this video session we are going to see that how can we connect the basic authentication plugin API with the postman bypassing some parameters of username and password and how can we retrieve all the posts from this post section okay means the first step that how can we use JSON basic authentication plugin in our previous video sessions guys if you have remembered then we have discussed actually so just go to visit site write wp json here this is the json object actually we are going to retrieve from this route wordpress default provides that okay so just make copy of all these contents click on json editor online click on the first link 
just I'm going to paste all the contents which actually I have copied from right here okay you have to simply write WPJSON okay you will get all the records of this WordPress panel into the JSON format okay just you have to paste click on this icon and this icon okay so this is how actually we are getting all the objects okay click on routes after clicking on routes if you scroll down then this is the post section as you can see click on this icon and now just we need to go inside this method so basically this is the route actually provides two basic methods like get method and post method okay so basic these methods actually we will set from right here okay and we need to pass our route link inside this text box okay so just go to again click on links and this is the link that we have to pass just make copy of this link I am going to copy this open postman and paste it here okay so this is the simple URL that I have copied from there and now we are going to use the get method okay so this is the get method that I have selected from this list the next thing that we need to do just go to authorization section okay just click on type no auth click on this drop down icon you can see the basic auth is there just click on that and now we need to pass the username and password of this WordPress setup actually we are going to connect that okay so let's make some zoom format in the settings panel so just click on instead of 12 let's say 20 okay and just I'm going to enable the two pin view just click on that and just close this panel so this is how actually we are getting this is the response section and this is the request section okay here is the URL that we have passed we have selected the get method as well as under the authorization section we need to pass the username and password after selecting this basic auth okay so we have admin as a username and admin as a password for this WordPress setup actually we are using REST API okay we have actually set the administrator password and the username password is admin and admin so we need to pass the username is password is admin and admin right here okay so let's make some changes in the layout setting of postman just I'm going to scroll there and now what we have to do next this is the authorization section that we have set completely so just click on the header sections now okay in the header section we have to pass the authorization format of username and the password okay so we need to type let's say authorization this is the option that we have to select click on that and now within this value section within this value section what we have to pass we have to pass the format something like that basic and here is username and the password okay but these two sections guys must be JSON encoded okay means we have to wrap this section with within JSON encode function of PHP okay we need to encode all these things within this parameter okay so by the help of username and password we actually JSON encode and pass all these encoded values with basic okay so now let's say that just to go to browser I have opened phpfiddle.org okay so let's say that echo JSON encode this is JSON code and now we have the username and password of our WordPress setup as admin colon sign and admin okay this is the format that I have passed here is username separated with colon symbol and this is the password and now we need to concatenate this value with the basic okay so just click on run icon this is the value okay we did a mistake right here just click on code space and also we have done uh, also a mistake is that that we not actually we have to encode with JSON we need to encode with a base 64 okay so we need to write base 64 encode this is the function that we have to use to encode these values so this is my mistake guys so sorry for that so now just click on run F9 button so this is the value actually we are getting okay so just make copy of that so before copying of that just go to editor and we need to replace this function with base 64 in code okay so this is the value actually we need to pass into our postman section of authorization 
okay so just go to browser again copy these things because we have concatenated this basic with this base 64 encoded value of username and the password so just make copy of all these things copy of that go to postman and within this authorization parameter pass all these values okay so now we have completed our request this is the URL this is the method type also we have set under the authorization section that is type equal to basic auth where we have passed username and the password section also within this header section we have passed authorization key which is base64 encoded value of username and the password on clicking on this send button actually we are going to make the request to this URL okay so by the help of this URL actually we will get all the posts from our WordPress setup okay so just click on send so now as you can see under the response section under the response sections we have all the lists of our WordPress post that we have created so far okay so just I'm going to close all these things one by one so basically we have three basic WordPress posts right now so if you go to our WordPress setup just go administrator panel this is right here just click on post and now you can see that all we have three posts so all the details actually we are getting right here okay so this is how guys this is the basic set of basic authentication plugin how can we use to make our request by the help of this simple concept actually we are going to make application by using the simple cloud operations like create update delete and list so all these operations we will make in our upcoming videos by using the same concept what actually we have seen in this video okay so the summary point to that we have to remember is that just go to editor and these are the points that I have written for you so just first of all we need to download this basic auth plugin right from this URL okay we need to install and activate using postman we need to pass authorization section of username and the password okay what we did as you click on authorization section this is the section that we did okay in the next within this header section we need to pass basic concatenating with the basis 64 encoded value of username and the password what actually we have passed right in this header section okay and this is the URL and the post method request type actually we are getting from this as you can see okay so these are the things that we have to remember to make any of the API call by using basic auth okay so from the next video session guys we actually are going to use this concept and to create a post delete a post as well as update a post okay so in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day